ciao. I highly recommend using either a vacuum or compressed air in order to clean out the area around the fuel injectors before you open them up so that nothing falls into the engine. I also recommend that if you're gonna pull out the fuel injectors that you replace the O-rings at the top of them. I'll put a link in the description. You should never smell fuel while operating your vehicle. If you do smell fuel after you've taken everything apart and put it back together, you should stop driving immediately because there is a likelihood of fire. Whenever you're working with the fuel system, a good first step is to loosen the fuel cap in order to lessen the fuel pressure in the system. Start by removing these two grounds. Remove the connectors for all four injectors. Disconnect the wiring harness from this holder so you have some slack. Remove the two 12 millimeter bolts that hold the fuel rail. Just be careful not to bend the hard line on the driver's side of the engine. The fuel injectors are held in by tension with an O-ring, so you can just pull them toward the engine and they will come out. Oh yeah, that's gross. Nice. This is my setup. I took a couple of inches of fuel hose, or you could also use heater hose and a hose clamp, and attached it to the end of the injector. I attached one alligator clamp from the battery positive and one from battery negative. With power on, I closed the circuit with the negative in order to open the injector while creating pressure by blowing into the end of the heater hose. I suggest only using carb cleaner and filling the fuel hose with ample amount before you start blowing. So you're gonna get kind of close so you can see the stream coming out the bottom. And all I'm doing is creating pressure. Pretty cool. <laughs> Could you catch me blowing into it? Uh -huh. Yeah? Cause it's like... There we go. There is a lot of carbon buildup. This is what your fuel injector is supposed to look like. And this is what yours look like. That's pretty gnarly. Um, we're going to do a lot of cleaning today. If you didn't receive new lower seals, as long as they don't look deformed, you can clean them off and reuse them. When reinstalling the fuel rail, you'll need to hold the rail down while you cinch up the two 12 millimeter bolts. Then they get torqued to just pass hand tight between 10 to 14 foot pounds. So I started with this back one and I put it all the way in and then I slowly worked my way down the rail and held this in to get these last guys. You wanna make sure these are all sort of straight to put the connectors back on. I'm just gonna check and make sure there's no leaks. You can torque the two 10 millimeter bolts to five to seven foot pounds. The easiest way to check for leaks is just to open the driver's door. That will cause the fuel pump to prime and you can check to see if there's any fuel dripping out of the injectors or the fuel rail. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe below so we can help other people find this video. I offer automotive education and consulting, so if you need help completing this job, my contact information is in the description below.